What's the best antidepressant for you? This is an easy question. It's the one that works the best for you and has the fewest side effects, or hopefully no side effects. Now you're probably asking, well, which one is that? Now that's actually a tougher question. If you've been prescribed an antidepressant by your doctor, whether that's a family doctor, OBGYN, neurologist, or even a psychiatrist that specializes in psychiatric medicine like myself, you probably already know our dirty little secret. It's an educated guessing game. Now, if that makes you feel a little uncomfortable or less confident moving forward, fear not. It's a pretty good educated guessing game. There are a lot of antidepressants out there, and they mostly all work on one of three chemicals in the brain serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, or maybe a combination of them. There's a few that work a little bit differently, and most likely if you compared all the antidepressants against one another, they'd all probably work about the same in the same number of people. 50 to say 65% of people that take them tend to get better. The difference is, is that one that works for one person may not work in another. So you can't really say one is better or the best, but you can say there may be one that's better or best for you. Also, the side effects vary a great deal. Some antidepressants are more calming or sedating. Some are more activating or energizing. Most doctors know which ones are more likely to cause which side effect. So if you're more low energy because of your depression, you're more likely to do better on one that's more activating. If you're anxious and fidgety and can't sleep because of depression, you may prefer one that's more calming. And just to make life difficult for you and make my job more interesting and challenging, every now and then there's one that's supposed to calm you down that jacks you up and one that's supposed to energize you that makes you sleepy. Hopefully one day we'll get a brain scan, a blood test, maybe a tricorder like Star Trek that we can wave over you and we'll tell you which is the best one for you. But for now, it's still a trial and error. Keep in mind too that sometimes we use medicines that aren't antidepressants to treat depression. When we've gone through a few of them and nothing seems to work or has too many side effects. Mood stabilizers, the mineral lithium, stimulants, that are used for attention deficit disorder, certain Parkinson's medicines, just to name a few. There is a gene test that can help tell us when you may be more likely to respond to one or tolerate one more than another, but it's not foolproof and it's been known to steer us in the wrong direction at times. So be patient, give the medicine time, four, six, sometimes even eight to 12 weeks at the right dose to make sure it is helping fully. Be open to trying a few different ones, preferably one with a different mechanism of action. You may need a higher dose or a lower dose than someone else. You may need a combination of two or three medicines to get the right cocktail for you. Prescribing antidepressants is not cookbook medicine. A good prescriber will listen carefully to what you tell him or her and adjust accordingly. Have a realistic expectation on what antidepressants will do. They're not magic happy pills. And if you're having problems, see if your doctor has tricks to reduce things like side effects. And if you absolutely can't tolerate the medicine, let your doctor know you want off and do it under their guidance. And if you don't feel your doctor is hearing you and responding appropriately, get another opinion. And remember, not everyone with depression needs to be on an antidepressant or even does well with them. Try changing your lifestyle, exercise, eating better, getting uh, off of drugs and alcohol, getting into the right counseling for your issues. But if you do need to be on an antidepressant, then try it. You can always stop if you don't like it or it doesn't help or if you don't feel you need it anymore. And it may be one of the best things to do for yourself and the ones you love.